Welcome to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him at God's Five Minutes at gmail.com. Now, here's Ed Wilson with God's Five Minutes. Hello, friends. The prophet Jonah prayed these words from the fish's belly, as recorded in Jonah 2 9. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that that I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. The concept of paying one's vows is often linked to thanksgiving in the scriptures for good reason. Most people have made some commitments to God at some prominent point in their lives. Paying those vows is a way of showing him that our associated thanksgiving is not just lip service, not just transient passion. It is sincere, humble gratitude. I find it quite impossible not to be thankful for the guidances I personally have experienced from a gracious creator. I thank God for life, America, freedom, health, and home. Most of all, I thank Him for His salvation, purchased with the suffering and death of His Son. During the reign of Catherine the Great in Russia, a program similar to our Homestead Act was offered to Germans who would move there to settle the land. At the outbreak of the Second World War, these expatriate Germans were forcibly relocated thousands of miles away with only the clothes on their backs. One of them, a friend, Mr. Ernst Herdert, told me of daily walking 12 and a half miles, often through knee-deep snow in sub-zero temperatures, to a large stable where he tried to gather kernels of corn from the horse's feed. He was trying to provide for two large families who shared a two-room house. It sheltered 18 to 20 people most nights. The other father was a shoemaker, so he was able to provide a little bit more income. In true Christian charity, the two families shared all they had. During those years of persecution, the Christians there had seen their ministers handcuffed and taken to prison, there to be tortured and shot for such light offenses as having a page or two of the Bible. When the Berlin Wall came down in 1990, they were permitted to return to Germany. What an amazing, poignant moment, how filled with emotions of glorious freedom, tempered with the sad memories of loved ones slaughtered for their faith, for their lives have been lived for many years in dread of a heavy-handed NKVD knock on the door at 3 a.m., thereby announcing that another one from their number was about to disappear into the ravening maw of the Russian prison system. I'd often read of such things. They became real to me when I sat in the dining room table with Mr. Herder and his fellows, heard the stories of hardship, hunger, and suffering firsthand, and held the handwritten attempts at Bibles believers had painstakingly compiled from their best memory of the Scriptures. And then the meal was served, food once so scarce as to make hunger a daily companion, and to which no one dared to object, no matter how unpalatable, was now abundant. Meat dishes, breads, pastries, vegetables, all that one could wish. And then, before the meal was begun, some aged saint of God would pause everything for a moment and lift his or her voice in an old hymn of gratitude and remembrance of a time when it was not so. The title of this old song is Danksagung in German, Thanksgiving in English, and here it is. We thank thee, Lord, for life and breath provided us so free, for at thy hand we live and move, our all must come from thee. For food, dear Lord, we raise to thee our song of thankful praise for giving us that living bread which gladdens all our days. We thank thee, Lord, for raiment, too, for slumber in the night, for clothing our immortal souls in shining robes of white. We thank thee, Lord, for thy dear Son, for thy unfailing grace. We thank thee for the hope to see our Savior face to face. And the chorus, we thank thee, blessed Master, with mortal tongue below. But when we gain that heavenly plain, eternal thanks shall flow. Through the years since Abraham Lincoln made official a national date on which our entire nation has a day away from the busy activities of the workplace, believers have benefited from the opportunity to express our gratitude to the one who has made our land so bounteous, our freedom from religious oppression so gracious. Let us do that when it's time come, and be grateful to our God for every day and every blessing He bestows upon us. Have you talked to Him today? You have been listening to God's 5 Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him by email at g-o-d-s-f-i-v-e minutes at gmail.com. Tune in next time to hear more encouraging thoughts from God's Word on God's 5 Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson.